Okay, good morning, everyone. How's everybody doing today? Uh, let's go over everything. I'm looking at one thing today. It's true. Okay. SPNC. I'll look at that quickly. There's only one watch here for me today. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, maybe this is... No. This is no volume. <coughs> Which was the problem with the ones yesterday. I mean, there were things that actually worked as late setups yesterday. You could not have taken them immediately or anywhere into the open because they had no volume. The volume came in in the open and without a setup. So you would have had to, you know, there's no way to do them. <coughs> Excuse me. Which is unusual, but sometimes you get that. <clears throat> I'd say it was unusual because it was a Thursday yesterday, but that was the case with some of the things. And you could have done some later setups, but they were like kamikazes, like I said. I'm watching True. I'm sorry that I wrote that in the room wrong. I don't want to confuse anyone. I do not like this gap. I did not rate this gap. I am not doing this gap. I don't think this gap works at all as a short. And if it does, it will be unbelievably, ridiculously hard and worthless to do. Waste of time. I wrote the wrong thing down in the room. I meant true. Okay? True is the one that I'm watching today. I wrote down how I wanted this to set up. <clears throat> Which is still fine. A lot of volume here. This is the only one I'm watching. Uh, COF, <clears throat> I did rate. I did put in the room. This does have volume. This will be somewhat spready. Uh, I didn't put the targets in the room for this because I'm not going to watch it. <clears throat> but you could if you want. Let's look at the market. I mean, you know, <clears throat> whether this was created with Amazon or whatever, the market had a massive, massive move after hours. <clears throat> we are going to talk about Amazon today. We don't have time to do it before we trade. However, I will go over it. <coughs> I, I, I really, we really are going to go over Amazon today. And as far as the bullish watches, if you want to watch bullish things, the best long today is Starbucks. Unfortunately, the support for this is very far away. So I'm not sure if this sets up right today, but this is the best bullish watch. Amazon today intraday, of course, could set up as a long. I did not rate this gap. Why? Because I'm not trading it, so I'm not spending my time with it. Again, we'll discuss this later. No matter what, this was amazing, okay? I really would just leave this be today, intraday I'm talking about, okay? Juniper was the one that I liked a lot that I wanted to gap down. It did not do it. Juniper actually could set up today as a long. It is a bullish gap. I did not read it, but I will tell you it's right on the cusp. I, I can eyeball this and see this is not, this is not perfect. This is not perfect by any means. This should look a heck of a lot better, particularly because of the market. And so I'm not crazy about this. To be honest with you, if you had to ask me what to do with this today, I'd say this doesn't work at all as a long. I did not rate it. It's right on the cusp, but instinct says it does not sit up right as a long, you know, out of the gate. And if it does, it'll be late, which again is not something I do, not on a Friday, not in the summer, okay? PMSC, <clears throat> I'd like, but it has no volume. I did not rate the gap, unfortunately, no volume. But I'll tell you, this could end up being like CVA yesterday and whatever that other one was, I can't even remember the name, uh, that had no volume and ended up working out to be a beautiful place. But I can't take a trade with no volume, that's insane. This doesn't even have a thousand shares. 
but this probably works today as a short but you can't take it in the morning until after the volume gets in okay the other one was this which which probably works and breaks a dollar in fact it may have already done it <laughs> no it didn't but that's funny uh, but again this is volume but I can't do this like this is no target that would be silly ECA down I'll look at that yeah it's almost a penny stock no nothing here no volume no volume this isn't gonna work right either let me just see if there's anything at the last minute and then we're gonna talk about the market Wanted something to sink my teeth into the, today. I'm not getting it. Like, I can't even sink my teeth into this. Now, obviously, I'm going to do it if it sets up. But <clears throat> what I wanted this to do was what it just did, actually. So we could be aggressive in this. I wanted it to rally first into the open. Unless it held seven initially, target's really $6.50. $6 is a dream target. I'm not saying it gets there. This is a short, but it did the rally now. It still could push up to 750 though, and the open is still rallying at the open, even though it rallied now. <laughs> Let's look at the market. Okay, so big move in the market yesterday. Again, as I discussed two days ago, the market made it a new support level here when it held in the gap down. So, so this is holding. I said, boy, this is, we're so strong now after I saw this. And we are because we're holding it. We made a new support level. We made it in the gap down. Why? Buying came in and supported the market. That's how support happens. You can't have support. Something doesn't hold unless money supports it holding. And that's what happened here in this price level. And it, it is working out. It's working out beautifully. I just don't think we go anywhere today. I just, I think we're going to be neutral here today. Neutral slash bullish again is a call today. I don't think we fall. We're not going to fall. I mean, there's no chance that we fall at all. But I really think it's going to be hard for us to make a rally today. We're going to rest another day in here. We're going to rest another day in here. We're setting up to have a really bullish close to the month of July. Next week is the last month of July. Or the last week of the month of July, we are setting up to close July like incredibly strong. Let's look at this five. I'll look at calm. But I don't think it's a new gap. Bullish slash neutral is the call today in both the markets that's buying the cues. And bullish week next week. Nothing here. Let me just figure out what we're going to do with this thing. Yeah, more and more and more, the more years and the longer I trade, I just realize there, 
There is more gaps in earnings season. There is, but it really has nothing to do with that. It Quality lives in its own world and has nothing to do with anything. I mean, it really doesn't have to do with anything. It, it, it has nothing to do with the time of the year. You can't even predict the anything about it. It is, you, you get up every day and look for quality. It could be December 24th. It could be Christmas Eve. It's, it's really just about quality. It just, if it's there, you play it. And if it's not there, you don't play it. And you get a 7,000 earnings and no quality. And you could have one earning and it could be an NCOF gap. So it's the longer I trade, the more I'm realizing this. It is, I mean, I've always known this. And I, I, I'm just reminding myself this and I'm saying this for the room, but you can only make money in the market when you have quality and you have no idea when you're going to get it. That's why you got to get up every day and go to your job and do the work and rate the gaps and look at the market and watch them set up. And if they do, you take them. If they don't, you don't. You, you just never know. It is, it is actually a very interesting career to have because you never know what you're going to get any day. You don't know how much money you're going to make. You don't know what's going to happen. You, the, the day, every day after, it's not a boring job. This is absolutely not a boring job. It's probably why it's a perfect job for me because I don't like to be bored. I would hate being bored. I could never work a job that I was bored. But this really is just so such a unique career because you just never know. And I really, the more I trade, the longer I realize that it has nothing to do with anything other than quality. Because you could have one thing and it could be perfect. And you could make a million dollars or you could have 25 things and none could look good. <laughs> it's just so interesting. NCOF. We'll, we'll talk about all that when we're done. Because we're going to talk about Amazon anyways. And Amazon was an NCOF. True is the only thing I'm watching today. It's the only thing I have up. And, you know, we're just going to have to be very particular about how we do it. I'm looking at True. I'm not looking as a backup. I'm looking at True as my number one pick. I wrote Trip in the room for the numbers. I wrote the wrong symbol. But I did not do a rating for Trip. So if you go back and look, I said the rating for True and the numbers for True I wrote the wrong thing, trip, but I said that 17 times now, and I also wrote it in the room. It's true. True is the only watch today. True is the only thing to do today. True is the only thing I like today. The other things I did not like. COF doesn't even rate good enough. We're not watching it. We're not watching it. The only thing that might continue today is QCOM, but not if the market holds really strong, but I don't think it's going to happen. If you want to watch Continuation Gap today, QCOM. That's it. But it's not an immediate play. It's Friday, and it's summer. True is not a backup. It's my only watch. no idea what the spread is in this and I'm trying to even decide if I've ever even traded this I'm trying to even think if I've ever even done this in my life I don't even remember if I've ever even done it <laughs> so I probably haven't or I'd remember we absolutely will review Amazon when we're done today and good luck everyone it's Friday you want to go into the weekend strong, just as I do. And I don't know what the spread's going to be in this. I just don't know. I'm not leaning on my keyboard, though, with this today. I'm, I'm not like, you know. this is. I'm just like, okay, give it to me or not. So just know that. I, I've had nothing to sink my teeth into this whole week. Yes, we've traded, but nothing was, was I like, ah, except for the Amazon, but we'll talk about that later. Wait. Uh, just just wait. Just wait on this. Don't 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 do anything on this right here. And my hands aren't even on my keyboard. Just wait. I'm not going to do the immediate fast play in this, but I'll call it if it sets up. Seventy-nine by seven oh five. Seventy-nine by seven oh five. I'm 
not going to do it. I think it's going to push back. I don't, I don't like this here. But if it hits, you can, it's valid. 79 by 705, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I think it pushes back. Okay, that's what it's doing. Let it, let it push back. Yes, okay, hold on. And that never hit anyways. All right, now we might get something here. Okay, I'm gonna do 09 by 20, 09 by 20 true, 09 by 20 true, and don't take it till it hits. Now let's do 05 by 20, 05 by 20 true. Oh, wait, no, wait, 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 no one should be in it. Okay, just let this rally. I'm not in any trades yet. I think this rally. And if this doesn't if this doesn't set up, then I'm not doing anything. Oh, this is gonna be a big stop. Here, let's do it right here. Stop, 55, 55, 55, put the stop in. I'm taking it here because it's gonna be too big if I wait. Here, you can do it. The real entry is 09, it's gonna hit. I just sized it. Here, you can take it. 08 by 55, stop's 55. I didn't wanna wait till it hit, but this is, this is, that's it. You can be in this right in here now. Stop's gotta be 55. And you can do 13 by 55. We didn't get it. You could take it right here and put the stop at 55. I'm already in it. I just grabbed it. I grabbed it when it was starting to trade in here. Okay, here it is. This is it. 13 by 55, and you can take more. Do it if you didn't do it. Oh, there. Hold on. I think it just hit. Well, I'm already in it. But you could have taken more at 13. Oh, this is a little wily thing. All right, this is it. Target is 650. <clears throat> Any break through the low, I'm probably just going to take it all. This is a little whippy bugger for a cheaper. snapper okay you could still take this let's look at the market okay cof set up i didn't call this the only thing i did was true Big stop. Big stop, but this is working too. I'm in the trail. You would have had to do this on your own without my call. I wonder what the spread was there. It was like a 70 cent stop. Okay, here's the trail. Here, this is the trail. We got to break $7. $7, we got to break. Once we break $7, any break should just drop right through the low. Do, 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 do. Here we go, and COF's already gone. Okay, here we go, we're gonna break $7 in true. This is it, this is my day, this is my week, done, blah, 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 whatever. Here it goes, it just broke seven. Yay, all right. I don't know, though, if this immediately goes down and breaks the low, and if it doesn't, I'm out of half. If it doesn't break the low, I'm out of half.
Here we go. Nice. We have to do ba do ba do. Whew. I'm glad I grabbed that there because, yeah. All right, here we go. Yay. Okay. Here it is. Here's the trade. Here we go. Here. We're clear. We're clear. This is it. Try to let it break. If it doesn't, I'm at a half. Here it goes. It's going to break the low. Nice call. This is my weekend. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I want to get on with it. Oh, you stinker. 85. No, I didn't break the low yet. Yeah. Well, you could you could take half out here. I mean, you could, but I I didn't. It, it looks fine though. Come on, under 90. It already got under 90, but I wanted to break 80. Come on, true, 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 true. Be true to me. All right, 10 more cents. Let me just see where this could really go. Realistically now, boo, boo, doo, boo, doo. Yeah, 650. 675 if it breaks through the low and bounces though. Well, no, that's too close. If it has another setup, I'll call it on the five, but the stop still has to be the same, and you can't lower it. And you could have taken some out there, but I didn't. And I'm not being greedy. This isn't this isn't Yahoo. This is just it, this is actually gonna break. Here we go. Here we go. True. really want to get nuts you could take more here but the problem is uh that the stop has to be well we could lower it to 750 but it's still 50 cents away basically here let's lower the stop to 750 750 now in true here it goes here it goes come on friday 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 july 24th i want my weekend to start let's get going true go pay me now mark it yeah all right not gonna complain not gonna complain at all Six more minutes, I want to be out of this. Come on, go right to the target in the next six minutes. It's actually, it's actually set up better than I thought. It's actually did better than I thought. It's actually was prettier than I thought as far as the ease of the setup. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. True. True, true, true. If it doesn't break the low amount of half, but it's going to, here we go. Under 80. Under 80. Under 80. This is it. This is my this is my weekend. Let it break and then wherever it goes. Here it goes. Nice call. <laughs> Woo! Nice call, stock swoosh. Here we go. Under 680. Go right to the target. There, 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 there. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Excellent. Hold on. This is a whippy bugger for a six dollar stock. What the heck? If this bounces over 80, I'm getting out of half, though. But I don't, I'm not saying that it's going to. I'm not saying that at all. Try to let it break 70. My hand is on the button, though. If it breaks 70, I'm going to take the whole thing wherever I feel like it. Go, 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 go. There, I just took half out. I just took half out. All right, hold on. I don't want that to bounce over 80 for the whole thing. 
No, stop has to be 50. 50 for the rest. And you know what? All right, let me just look at time of the day. I'm going to watch time of the day here. I'm not, I'm not staying in this rest of it long. I just took half out, but if this one doesn't break 70, I may just take the whole thing. <clears throat> Let's just see. Not. Here, hold on. You be careful because I barely got out of the half of that, like, like, it took a minute to fill me in that to get out. Like, I'm out of the half, but it actually sat there. This, nobody wants this thing. This is dead in arrival. So be careful. Make sure you use the right sienna. You won't be able to cover. I'm just, I'm just warning you. My water sat there, and I almost freaked, but we're up still. But I did, it did get hit me out. Here, hold on. Give it one more minute. Here, it's gonna try to break 70. Well, that was, uh, my order sat there till it filled me. Wow, this thing is, nobody wants it. Here, under 70. <gasps> yeah, do -bo -do -bo -do. Here, this is it, this is my day. And my hand is on the button to get out of the rest wherever I tell you. Go, 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 go. Let's see if we can get out down to the target and done. In fact, I'm not letting this get over 75. Okay, well, it's fine, okay, here we go. All right, let it break 60, nice. I didn't really have to get out of any there, but this is a little wily beast. And I actually took it before it triggered. All right, here we go. Come on. Today, please. Here, there, I took it. I'm out. I'm out of the whole thing. I'm done. I'm not holding this past 945. This could still drop another 20 cents. I'm not going to deal with it. You could put the stop over 80. Put the stop over 80. It tried to break 60. It didn't. And I'm not holding this back through a pushback. It's, I just want to be done. And I have no idea where the market's going to go from here after the pull-in. If you're still in this, put the stop at 80. You could have it over at 750. I just took the whole thing. I'm done. If you're in it, stay and try to see if you can get it down 10 more cents. 10 more cents. 10 more cents is the target in here. But I just, I'm all out. And actually, that time it just did fill me. <clears throat> Probably because of the green. All right, that's it. So you could put the stop over 75 or 80, or you could have it with the original stop. I, I'm all out. I'm done. That's it. Don't feel like dealing with anything. And that was an easy trade. Easy Friday, summer, done. Uh, this could go to $6, but I don't think it gets there by 10 o'clock or 10.15. I mean, really? This could get to $6 today. $6.25, $6. Will I be in it? No, I'm out. And, I, you know, you, you might have to hold it to 1 o'clock. What was the one last Friday? The one last Friday, you had to hold it to 1.15 in the afternoon. Here it goes. If you're still in this, try to try to break 60. Hold it down as long as you can. You got 10 more cents here. Nice trade. It's going to try. But if it really doesn't break 60 here, I would be out. you you got to be out of 80% of this if it doesn't break 60, even if you hold a piece. You're out as well. Great call as always. Good job. We'll go over it when we're done. Here, let's just go over the whole thing. So, obviously, this is an entry I teach in the class. Actually, I did it. I did it. This is an entry I teach in the class. I shorted it. I shorted it. I had a decent price here. I just took it. That was, like, really actually gutsy. <laughs> and then it did the, the normal trigger. But I saw that that was going to be too big, and I was like, this is real. I'm doing it. Here, if this doesn't break 60, I'm telling you. Anyways, I was in, drop, 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 covered half here, that was the right thing to do, just got all out of the rest, done. Okay. So nice trade in there for the morning, uh, and very, very quick, which is 
my dream life. We just said she, I'm out, she's out for a call. Good job. And, and it didn't break 60. So you're going to hold us through a rally now to make 10 more cents? No, no, no. All right, let's look at the market here. <clears throat> You're welcome, my silver. He said, great call, thank you. All right, market came in first, but held is going to hold. Why? I told you, this is holding, and we're not going anywhere to the downside today. Not even in the SPY. Even though the SPY looks weaker today and yesterday than, it did, than the Qs, does it matter? No, why? Once again, the SPY has been stronger than the QQQs the entire year of 2015, and really 2014, and really 2013. So there's nothing different here. Let's look at the rest. Oh, man, was this a slop city USA. This was the one that had no volume. Actually, here's the volume coming in. Ugliness plus 10. Ew. Wow, ugly. Worked. 30 cents dropped, though, but so ugly in the setup. Crapola. Does have the volume now, though. COF worked. Massive stop, though. I did not call it. Not sure what the spread was in the open. This would have been 80 cents. I probably would have sized this for 80 cents. Let's just see where it went. It did go two R's. Well, it was not quite two R's. That stop was big. I, I actually thought this would, if this set up today, the stop would not be that big. But the stop when this was big, I'm glad I didn't do it. Let's look at the QCOM. No, nothing here on this today. Let's look at this other snail. This finally is volume two, which it did not in the gap. Wow, nice 15, what the heck? This had no volume though. See, here's the volume coming into it. This is the volume bar, because it didn't have any volume pre-market. I'm gonna call this if you want it. No, no, I can't. No, 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 no. Here, let's just be done. You should be done. And this didn't work as predicted. Trip was not a good gap. I didn't even rate it. I didn't like it enough. And it's not going to work. And it didn't work. And it's not going to work, which I told you. That's the low of the day in Trip. It won't break it. This is now a penny stock as Trader Gal predicted. Look at that. Broke a dollar. Pointless to trade, but I've never shorted a penny stock in my life. I don't even know if I could. Would a message come up? I don't know. <laughs> well, we just take all the normal uh, power, but they do under $5 anyways. Here, look at this. Well, if you have the stop over 80, I think you're still in it. Let's see. Yeah, you are, actually. I put the stop over 680 in this right now. If you're still in this, absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt. Boom. Do it. I'm ordering you. If you're still in this, which really no one should be. The whole thing, anyways. Okay, I'm done for the day. All right. True did use all its energy being wily. And what a strange activity for a stock like this, which I don't remember trading. I'm sure I never traded it, I remember. Uh, thanks, Melissa, you're welcome. What was the entry again on True? Wherever I said to take it, on my orders. <laughs> Wherever you got filled. When I said take it, which I actually took it before I actually officially called it, I was like, I was just like, I'm taking this, and then I just called it because I just said take it. This was one of those ones where I was like, you know, you see it in the live money, you just say take it. But I did, you know, say take it, take it, take it. You had time to take it here. I'm sure everybody got filled a different price. But if you took it anywhere where I told you to before it broke, you had a much better entry than waiting for it to break. I saw that it would. And this is actually an entry, so that's why I did it. Although I don't do this entry all the time because we don't get it all the time. We don't get it all the time. Seattle Trader, can you email me to remind me of that, please? And here this is going to try to break 60. Stop over 80. This is it. One more push down into 10 o'clock for True, and it's done. Done for the morning anyways. 
wherever this goes, $650, $640, $625. I don't think it gets to $6 today. Sorry. Journey Women had another huge day, $1,400. Wow, that's terrific. You're really doing well. No, that's only one bar Galahad. This is the third entry. Yes, Shining Star got it right. Shining Star, Shining Star gets a round of applause for getting the entry right in this. It's not one I take a lot. It's entry number three. Good job, Shining Star. We don't do it that often. Here it goes. This is going to try to break 60. I am all out. If you were in this, 10 more pennies is a target. Stop over 80. Here, it's going to get to 650. Here it goes. But I did the right thing getting all out. This wasn't worth it for 10 more cents. But if you, if you get it through 50, you could actually get it down to 625. I, I don't know. But I would watch time, 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 time here. Let's look at the market. Let's look at the market. I'm going to turn on the air conditioning, and we're going to go over Amazon. A nice call by me. And you know what? I'm really happy that I got filled. I got filled everything I wanted. Today. A, it set up easy for me, and B, I got filled my whole position, despite the fact it was down 10,000 miles. It, it's very hot here, and you know what the problem is? Because I live in the sky. I mean, I literally live in the clouds. I live in the weather, so when it is cold out, I have to have the heat very high, and when it is hot out, I have to have the air conditioning high because I live near the sun. I live closer to the sun than if I lived on the ground. What is the temperature today? See, it says it's 84, high of 84 out, but it's hot in my apartment because I live in on the 60th floor. I live in the sky, and so I literally live in the clouds, which I love. In fact, I laid in my bed yesterday afternoon. I was taking a break from something, and I stared right at a cloud, and I said to myself, I can never live under the 60th floor. <laughs> I can't live below the 60th floor again, which really limits the amount of buildings that I can live in in Manhattan. But I am never living anywhere underneath where I live right now. <laughs> and I finally said that to Grant the other night. I mean, no, 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 it was a couple weeks ago. Because he lives on my floor too. And we both looked at each other and we're like, we, we're spoiled now. Like, we can't live below the 60th floor ever again. He has a building on the opposite side of me, though. He sees the Statue of Liberty and the Empire State Building from his, <clears throat> from his apartment. He has a different one-bedroom layout. And I see the... Uh, I see the cruise ships, I see Uptown, I see Central Park, and the Manor in Oriental, and I see uh, the bridge, the George Washington Bridge. <clears throat> I look north, northwest is my view, but because I'm up so high, I'm, I'm, it's, it's hot, even though it's nicer outside, only 80. I can't believe I live below this floor now because it's too amazing. I don't care what it costs. <laughs> I'll just keep trading. And speaking of making bazillions of dollars, why don't we talk about Amazon? It is a beautiful view. I have pictures on Facebook. You should go to my Facebook. Okay. Magic 88 has to run early today. Thanks, Melissa. Have a good weekend. You too. All right, so I said stay off Amazon today as a day trade. Didn't I say that? Yeah, I did. I did say that. Stay away from it as a day trade today was exactly what I said, okay? It's exactly what I said. Stay away from it. No play here as a day trade on Amazon. But a great call I made yesterday in the room at 10, 15 a.m. that I called. What Does anyone remember what I said? So why don't we talk about this now? We're going to go over Amazon. I asked people to write in the room what they did an Amazon, if anything, based on my call, based on my prediction, actually. It was a prediction. This was a prediction. There's a difference between a prediction and a call. A call is right now, today, short, true, right here. Stop over the number. We're getting out of the target. That's a call. A call is we're doing this live. A prediction is what I did on Amazon where I'm actually predicting the gap. I predicted the gap in Amazon last night, and I even predicted the numbers. Did anyone watch this live? Because I did, and my jaw was on the floor of my apartment, and I was jumping up and down and screaming, and no one could hear me. Did anyone watch this live? One of these days, I'm going to, one of these days, one of these days, I'm going to do a trade like this. I'm going to buy several thousand shares of the stock, and 
I'm going to make a million dollars on one trade like this. Do I still think it will go back up? All right, let's 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 look at the intraday here. What's happening, and then we will look at the uh, what it did in the gap. <clears throat> I have no idea what you did with this ice silver. I'm guessing you're in an option. What's the problem with options? Timing. You have to get the timing right. Not only do you have to get the prediction right in the actual uh, directional bias, you have to get the timing right. If you don't get the timing right, then obviously the option will expire worthless. Do I know the timing of when this goes and flips over $600? No, I don't know the timing of that. I don't know the timing of that at all. Do I think it goes over $600? Yes. Yes, it does. But I don't know the timing. And that's the problem with options and why I prefer to trade equities. Can you use my system for options? Yes. Is it less risk if you do that? Yes. Is it something that I'm ever going to do? No. I did get your email last night, Tom. I just don't want to do that. It's nothing to do with Chucky or non-Chucky or Chucky S. I would rather take the risk. I, you cannot make money unless you take risk. Proof positive Amazon. I knew this would get up. I, I knew this would get up. I, I said it. I saw it. I told you. And I didn't take an equity trade in this before the earnings. But if I had, I would have been up a million dollars or more. I called the same thing on Google and Netflix. And I'm telling you, the market as well, even though it hasn't done it yet. But the reality is that one of these days I'm going to do it. And you just take the risk. And when you take the risk, you can make money. And if you're not willing to take risk, then you cannot make money in the market. And it's as simple as that. And if you limit your risk, then the amount of money that you make is limited. But if you're limiting your risk, then how much really are you interested in it, in it or not? Do you believe in it or not? Do you have 100% conviction in it or not? It's either a yes or no. It's black or white. It's conviction or no conviction. There's no 50%. It's 100% conviction. 100% conviction. I said, no chance of failure. Amazon gaps up over 500 tonight. And the target is 550. And the dream target's 575. And do you know it gapped up? And when it gapped up, and the first run up it made was to 550. And I sat here and fell off my chair. Because it went to the number that was not on the chart that I called and saw before it did it. 550 was the first number it hit up and through here. In to the earnings. Up and beyond. And it closed last night at almost 575, which was the dream target. And it got over it this morning in the pre-market. But where do I get these numbers? They're not on the chart. I did get a bunch of emails from some of you last night. They were very nice. And I didn't have time to respond to them this morning because I don't want to email people before I trade. But thank you for the lovely things that you said. You're absolutely right about everything that you said. Frequent Flyer said the nicest thing where he said, I'm you know, so lucky to, have, to know you, Melissa. I'm so lucky to know you, Melissa. And you are lucky to know me. <laughs> I mean, because I see things that no one can see before they happen. And I, uh, you know, the only explanation I have for this that is an intellectual explanation, of which I don't think that is the real explanation here, but the only intellectual explanation is that I have been trading gaps now for seven years of my life. And when you know how to trade gaps in the market, you learn how to read price action extremely accurately. And it allows you to predict what somebody's going to do. It tells me how money moves in the market in gaps. And that is how I'm able to predict things. So at an intellectual level, I'm able to predict things that no one else can predict because of the fact that I've been trading gaps for seven years in a way that is actually real and true and works and is not just whatever. It is like this is above and beyond something you just use to day trade. This is a real strategy that reads money and institutional money in the market or I would not be as right as often as I am or be making as much money as I am day trading or be able to make the calls and predictions like I do in something like this and Netflix and Google and the market. So. That's the intellectual process, but if you want to me to really be honest with you, when I saw this yesterday, or when I say any of the things that I say that turn out to be true, when I say NCOF, particularly I'm talking about really when I predict the earnings move over the gap. It's like I didn't look at this today yesterday before I looked at it. I looked at it and and I didn't take the room yesterday, but like when I looked at it, I, I saw it. I actually saw it in my mind. 
And that's how I can see those numbers and I can even say the numbers. Like just like I said with Netflix. Like when I made the Netflix call, I said 750. It almost got there and that was in January. It was, it was nowhere near that. Like I saw it. You know, at, at an intellectual level, the explanation is what I just gave you. But at a non-intellectual level, it is 100% intuitive. And this is why we joked about this the other week. The 27th point is me because I have a extreme amount of ability of a highly intuitive nature in reference to the stock market. I, I am in touch with the stock market and it is, it is, it is a gift. I, this is the reason I'm going to be on national television and the reason that the show will be successful. And if I made this call last night, you know, if this, this was, it was my first show, if it was ever my first show, it would have been a huge, massive hit. So, you know, the reality is that I'm blessed. I'm, I'm truly, truly, truly blessed, but I have worked very hard to get here. Very, very, very hard. But I'm blessed because there is really non, no intellectual explanation that really makes sense for the fact that I see things in live time, but I actually see it. Like if you were inside of my brain, I see it or I could not say these numbers and be right about them. It's intuitive. It's, I'm highly, highly, highly tuned into the market. And that's why I don't get it wrong that often. And that's why I call things in, in a chart and the numbers aren't even there. I mean, these numbers don't exist and I see them in my mind and then they go there. <clears throat> I am in love with the market. And not only that, the market loves me back. The market loves me back. True is heading to the dream target? No. The target was 650. Dream target six. Well, I got within 30 cents of that. I really, really, I'd be out of this though. 1003, I'd be out of this. If you held it down in there, you got more than you could have ever dreamed of in that. Obi says I have a beautiful mind. Melissa, thank you. Uh, I will say that today's chart and true for you, Shining Star. CBOE is the Chicago Board of Exchange. I don't know what you're asking about, Chuck. CBOE, I have no idea what you're talking about. CBOE is the Chicago Board of Exchange. So I don't, I don't know what you're asking about that. Um, Mark B, more information will be coming out about that later. It was the first time they did steal the premium. The 520 call was 750 to 850 yesterday. It went to 6150. It's a 5350 profit. One contract paid 5350. Ten contracts paid 53,000. That was the first time in a while the options paid well. Great gap. Ten contract risk 8,000 for profit of 53. Pretty cool. Surf dog, did you do it or not? Because you didn't. You didn't do it the last time on Netflix. Did you do it or not? I thought you were going to. I will tell you that New Jersey Trader did an equity trade. He actually did it. New Jersey Trader put in the room this morning that he did do Amazon. He actually bought outright the stock. And actually, New Jersey Trader gets the star today. Hold on. Let's find one for him. Because that takes guts. Here, we'll even give you a Santa Claus. It takes guts to buy a stock outright as the equity trade. That's, that's, that's gutsy. You're the only one that did it. Everybody else did options. And you know what? I would do that if I did it, which I didn't. But that's guts, okay? Now, he took an amount that he, could, he was willing to lose if he lost. It could have gone against him just as many points. Like, this could have gapped down 100 points. I mean, you do realize that. But it didn't. <clears throat> so, and we'll go back here and look. If you wanted to take a thousand shares of this, you only would have needed two hundred forty thousand dollars. Now I know that sounds like a lot of money, but it's actually not. And I mean, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have to do one of these the next one I have, and I'm just gonna have to decide it. But if you had bought it, you know, into the close, <clears throat> I would have waited till as close to the close as possible. If you had bought it into the close, okay, around four eighty, it literally rallied up. In five minutes, you would have been up. Well, let's just figure out exactly. Let's not even estimate. 
558 minus 480. You would have been up $78,000. So New Jersey trader took, you know, whatever size he took, but he did make $3,000. It was still gutsy because he could have lost $3,000. The $3,000 is, you know, it's not nothing. I mean, it's money, but $78,000 is better. And if you had held it through, then it ran all the way up. You know, you could have made almost 100 that would have been just shy of that or whatever. It would have been like over 90 grand. So, you know. I sat here and watched it. And here was the 550. Do you see this? So here was, here's, the, here's the number I said was the target, then 550, dream target 575. So do you see here, this it, after, so the announcement comes out, it's 409, or whatever time, the bar, this bar happened here at 4, 409. It touched on that number, and that's when it did this big, this, this tail then right after. So you're, you, like, who knows if you would have gotten out there. You may not have gotten out and gotten filled if you bought it and then wanted to sell then you had a big tail. The tail came all the way down, still held you into your price. If you got it at 480, you wouldn't have been down any money. Had another taily thing here and pooped over 550 then and went up to 558. Again, this is very risky to do stuff before it gets. My method, the 26 point rating system teaches you to wait for the gap and then rate it. And I saw the gap this morning on Amazon. I said, nothing here, don't do anything with this today. Don't buy it, don't short it, there's nothing to do. You cannot short this. It's idiotic to short this. You know there's some people shorting this today. Stupid. Anyways, it probably even holds somewhere today. I don't know where, but Anyways, the reality, 550, actually 550. I don't even know why I'm saying this. It's just, yeah, 550 will hold today. But anyways, getting back to it, this is like, you know, very risky because of the fact you can't put in a stop. If you do stuff overnight or in the pro and pre and post market, and also the fact is that you're taking it before the earnings, you don't know what it's going to do, except for the fact that I do. And I guess this is why I'm going through the cycle in my own self and my own mind to like prove to myself that I'm right. Like, it's very interesting because it would be an insane amount of risk here. I'd be, I'd be risking $75,000 to make seventy five, dollars but I'd make $75,000 in two minutes. And I, and I don't, it's not like I say this all the time. I only say it when I absolutely know. And you know what? I didn't say that in Juniper. I didn't say that in Juniper at all. I didn't say whatsoever in Juniper. I said, you know what? I'd love this if it gets down, uh, but it may not. And I don't have 100% section conviction what this is going to do. And look at Juniper isn't even working. And what did I say about this today? I didn't rate this gap, but you know what? It's really not perfect. It's really not perfect. This really isn't good enough, and it didn't work. Look, this isn't working. This isn't working. It wasn't a long, and I didn't call it as a long, but I said you can watch it. You can watch it, but this really isn't good enough. And I didn't rate it as a bullish gap, but I said, uh, I don't really like this, and it's not working, and you can't short this. It's almost like my whole life. I mean, I, I know that I know that I'm going to do this because it's like my. It's almost like my whole life has been leading up to this point of everything that I'm going to do in front of an, on a national stage. The, my ability to be able to see things and predict them before they happen, and I'm, my whole life is leading up to the point where one day I'm going to take a trade like this. I'm going to take a trade like this and make, you know, two, three hundred grand in five minutes, and then I'm going to, you know, I'm just never going to look back. But, you know, the thing is that you just, you must learn how to do this or you can't read it right, and, and you got to get started. I mean, so many people are, watch me and watch me and watch the videos. You'll, you'll never make any money unless you learn exactly what I know. I don't, and you won't even do as well unless you're here in the room with me. Because the things that I say in the room are invaluable. They're invaluable to teach you the skill and the, and the knowing to see this, to like be part of my mind, to be here and to listen to my mind, to hear me say the things that I say. When I say something isn't right or when I say something is wrong or when I say something should be done or whatever I say. It's, I am an intuitive trader above and beyond the 26 points. And that is one of the reasons I can call something like Amazon. And I really got a hand it to New Jersey trader because he took that trade on my call. He only did the class two months ago. He risked a decent amount of money to make three grand. That's true. But he did it because he believed in me because there was no gap. It did not gap up, up and do anything. He took it into the close. It hadn't done a thing and he made money. And for those of you that are willing to trust me and pay me for the class and take the class and be here in the room and take my calls, you are profiting from it. And I got to I gotta hand it to you. I mean, the, I feel so grateful that, that you people trust me so much. And the ones that do, you are making money. And you see how it works? 
you don't ever get to the point you can trust anyone to teach you anything or do any calls. How are you ever going to do it? Well, you can do it like I did. You can lose a million dollars in the market until you figure it out on your own. But that is a very long road, a very hard road, and a road that many people cannot ever travel on. You'll never be able to travel it. I don't even know how I got through it. I mean, I just don't even know how I got through it when I look back. And, I, and I've started writing the book. And as I'm writing the book, I'm bringing up all these things that happened to me, horrible things that happened to me when I was trading. And I'm like, I don't even know how I got through this point in my life. I don't even know. But I did. I think that's one of the reasons I'm blessed now with this gift because I did persevere through the hard times when they came to me. When I was losing money in the market before I figured this stuff out, I was willing to persevere and the market blessed me with a gift. The market just gave me this gift, the gift of seeing things and predicting them in the future and an intuitive knowing, almost as if I have a map or a road map that the market tells me and whispers a secret to me at, in, the middle of, in the middle of the day, in the middle of the night, in the middle of the trading and whispers to me. It, the market has blessed me with a gift because I was able to persevere through the hard times and teach myself how to do it when many people can't. I'm through the door. I'm th way through the door. I'm so far through the door. I'm never going back. And I keep getting blessed more and more by continuing to make amazing calls. And the market is one of them too. So it is late. It is July. I never thought the market would not be making the move that I thought it would make back in October of 2014 yet, but it actually is still going to make it. No one should be even questioning me at this point. But the fact is that it hasn't made it yet. Therefore, the target that I gave for the entire year of the SPY is probably not going to play out to the dream target, which was 300. 275 is not out of the woods. Why? Because the longer that we take to set up to make the new high, the bigger the move we're going to make. And every day that we have a look like this and yesterday and the drop off we had from the Greece thing back before in the beginning of July, every day that we do something like that, it makes people think we're not going higher. It makes people think that the market is heavy. That is the opposite of the way that I view this chart. Again, how am I able to see something that other people can't see because of, because of the gaps, because of the gaps in the market, because of the bearish gaps and the bullish gaps and the way that I rate gaps, that I can see here that there's no weakness in this market, no weakness at all. I would never describe this as heavy. I would say that the market has utter strength here. It's resting and waiting to go higher. It can't wait to do it. It's going to happen any second. I'm surprised it hasn't happened by now, but absolutely will. And no chance of failure. The market will make a new high and go to some incredible number that it's never been to. That includes the QQQs, which have not made a new high, which would be up above 120-ish. The SPY already has, already did, already did before the end of last year, and will make another new high this year, way above. You made $820 in true today? Good. That's good. You trade after hours just in your regular broker account, but don't do that unless you know what you're doing, Journey Woman, because you have to take the risk. But New Jersey Trader is not a baby. He's been trading for a long time. He just didn't meet me to recently. He knows the risk, so he took it. But I wouldn't be doing overnights or pre-market or post-market trades unless you're like, you know, seasoned in the market, I guess. I have a website. It's www.thestockswish.com. The prices for all my classes are there, but the one that's going to teach you how to trade is the Golden Gap, and it's $34.99, Joe. I only trade equities. I do not do options, just for the reason I said. Options has to do with timing. Although I'm very good at predicting exactly what somebody's going to do, I'm not accurate in the timing necessarily. I am in the targets and the numbers, which is way more than anybody else. But I will tell you, if you condense the time, if I have to make a decision in immediate time, which is a day trades on the one minute chart, I can do that. I can do that. We do that. How do you think we get the trades? So it is very easy for me to predict timing of numbers in the live moment as something's trading. I'm reading it. I'm reading the money. I'm reading the price. And, and I, I can even do it when I'm saying six hours from now. Like I looked at Amazon and said six hours from now, this will gap up. But, but these option things, you're looking, you know, three, four weeks out, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? It's like I said Netflix was going to 750 in January. Well, I didn't know the timing of that would be July. As it turns out, the timing of what I would have given for the prediction would have been sooner. It reached that dream number sooner than I would have predicted. Whereas the market has not reached the number yet later than predicted. It is easier to predict something that's happening right now, the next moment, right now, right this second. What is I want this to do? And I'll predict it and I'll see it. We're, we're, this is live, okay? Or even six hours from now in the gap. But, you know, or even in the morning when I read the market, I said, this is what the market's going to do today between now and four o'clock Eastern time. But, I mean, to predict out past that, no one can do that. 
but I can see the numbers, which which is something actually that no one can do too. So I'm just happy I know how to do what I know how to do. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe I'll soon be able to predict the timing of it. Who knows? Anything's possible. Do you know that, oh gosh, I don't even know what to say. Do you, listen, I know I teach that wealth manifestation class and I know we talk about this stuff in the GAD class, but I'm telling you, you have no idea, no clue what it means to, to, for me to make these predictions and have them to come out so back be true, what it does for my conviction. You, I can't, if I could bottle that up in a bottle and sell it, I would sell it for so expensive an amount that no one could be able to afford it and I wouldn't care and one person would buy it. If I could bottle up that, it would be, it would have, I mean, that basically I have bottled it up. It's a 26 point rating system, but I'm just saying if I could bottle up conviction and sell it, if it was a liquid, it was a drops, and you put it on your tongue every day before you trade, I'd bottle it and sell it, manufacture it. I can't tell you how much these calls that I have made to predict these things that were phenomenal has done for my level of conviction for my trading. And that's why when people are losing money in the market or on a demo and not making money or not making money or not, or not getting ahead, making, losing, making, losing, making, losing, never making really any real money, they don't have any conviction. They got no conviction. They're losing conviction. Time is going on. They're wasting time. They're wasting money. You know, you never get the level of conviction you need to do it. You can never take the risk. You just chip away at your conviction every day you trade. It's a worthless endeavor. You got to get to the point where you're making real money. But you know, even if that means you have to stop doing something that you've been doing and just say, you know what, I give up. This thing isn't working. I got to learn a new strategy. And then you move on. And it sucks sometimes. You say, well, I wasted six months on this thing. I wasted money on this class and I didn't learn anything from it. You know what? You got to you gotta suck it up. Something just happened to me recently. I, I, I don't want to get into it now with this whole thing. It's like I just spent time on something with a, with a person and da 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 I'm not going to get into it now, but the bottom, long and short of it is I've been in my mind back and forth about it. I'm like, this sucks. I wasted time with this person. Why did I even want to work with this person? And da da da, da. And now I'm like, you know what? i got to get over it. i got to move forward. i just got to keep moving on, keep the energy up, keep the eye on the prize, you know? Sometimes you got to cut the cord, and you've got to accept the fact something isn't working. And if you're doing a strategy that's not working, not making any money, there's a reason it's not working. And if you have someone that you're following – they should be directing you how to make money. And if they're not, then they don't know what they're doing and they don't know how to trade. It's just like not that hard. Anyways, I was just going to say something. Oh, this the, the level of conviction that these calls have given me has been phenomenal for me. For me to press forward and do what I'm going to do. It's like if I could bottle that up and sell it in drop ripples that you, we could all put it into our mouth every day before we trade, I, I would do it. Who knows? But... The point I'm trying to make, here I got off course what I was trying to say. The fact that I've been able to make these calls, anything's possible. I mean, I do, I, I've always known that anything's possible, that anything is possible. Anything is possible because I could have done this trade yesterday and I had the money to do it and I had the money to take even more than that and I could have done it and I could have done it. So the fact is that, you know, anything is possible. The very idea of making $75,000, $92,000 in five minutes, in 15 minutes, in 30 minutes was possible for me yesterday and more. And I could have done it. So the fact is that I know that I can do anything with what I know. And when you get to the point where you believe in yourself and you know that you can do anything, you will move mountains. No, no, no problem that comes along will stop you. You will persevere when the hard time comes. You will find a way through it. Why? Because you believe in yourself. And I believe in myself. And we talk about this in the wealth manifestation class, but I'm telling you, it's just one of these things that, even though I didn't do this yesterday, this has just had a phenomenal effect on me because of the fact that I could have done it and I saw it. And it was an amazing, impossible thing to see. And anything is possible. Anything. I've had a website. It's just not, it's just not done up really good. It was supposed to be done. They didn't get it done. Now I gotta find another person. I can't even say, I silver. I can't even say you're asking me something here. I can't even say. This should hold 550 today. 
If it doesn't, I'd have to see where this closes today and what it does on Monday, and then I'd have to look at it next week. I have no idea. It's like saying, I, we just talked about this. I don't know. No idea where this goes on Monday. I don't know where it goes today. I said, stay away from it. Don't touch it. Don't day trade Amazon today. And if you're showing this today, it, you're an idiot, quite frankly. It's the strongest thing in the market. Okay. This is actually going to try to get to $6. This is hilarious. You could short this here with a stop at 62. 60. You could put it at 60. You could take a 20 cent stop here and see if you can get two R's and it down to six. I'm not doing that. It's 10.22. I'm done. My week's done. We're done. But you could short this one more time. It's trying to get there. Yeah, this ended up really going big. The stop was big though. If I had done this, it would have been out in here. I absolutely know with 100%, I would have been out of the whole thing here. Now, if I, I, if I had really liked this, I might have stayed with it here. This is a better entry here. Actually, this was a good entry here. Already I was in the true. So I was already in the true. I don't do two things usually. This was a big stop. We had more R's in true than, than this if you had done it here. Because I know if I would have done this here with the stop, it would have been all out. I wouldn't have even piece bailed out. Anyways, this did have a second setup. This was the better trade. But I was already in true. Leon says, frankly, I'm the best fast trader I've ever seen. Oh, thank you. Let's look at this here quickly before we go. So I'll just say one quick thing here. Do you see this is a big bar today? Big bar in this today, really, really big. High is 83.90, low is 79.84. But what do you what do you make of this chart? Nothing. I know it's selling off on the day, but this isn't this isn't hurting anything here. This isn't problematic. So it's selling off today. But that's not that this isn't a major disaster for this, just so you know. All right, let's just see what's out briefly on Monday. Again, it's a difference about temporary control versus full control. We've talked about this before. Temporary versus full control. I changed the dates for the class. The class is going to be August 1st and August 2nd for the bearish class. If you're interested in taking the class, the Golden Gap class is going to be next weekend, August 1st and 2nd. Email me if you want the sign-up information. The open house is over today. The trends class is next Wednesday and Thursday. I wrote that in the room too, 12 to 4. Some of you are already signed up. Let's look and see what is out. Monday. Only big name I see really Monday morning. I mean, there's stuff Monday morning. The only big name I see is Sohu. Let me just look at this. Yeah, I don't really see anything here. I don't know what this does. I don't really see anything here. It's crazy. Here, look. Well, it says have to break 625. Look, I just I just called a late trade in this. Did anyone do it? I mean, I didn't do it. I did the morning done, but this is going to go to six, I guess. Look at that, nice. Does anyone have any questions that was here in the trial, the open house? Does anyone have any questions for the regular people? New Jersey trader gets the gold star today for doing Amazon. As a straight out buy equity trade, taking the risk and making all the money. And Shining Star gets the gold star for getting the entry right and true today. An entry that we, we don't see that often that I called and we just we just took it. And was the best one to get the risk reward in this today. Although if you're holding some of this down, you're really getting paid. Odeva says congrats to New Jersey Trader. New Jersey Trader, I need you to write a testimonial about that. That's the kind of stuff I have to send to the TV people. And I did get your testimonial, Linda. I will email you back the information that you wanted as well. There's something else I was going to say and I forget what. 
there is no other option besides 100% conviction. You, there is nothing. It's either 100% conviction or no conviction. There is no such thing as 50-50. You're either all in or you're not. You either take the risk or you don't. You cannot make a lot of money in the market without taking risk. Amazon, Netflix, the market, all of them, everyone. If you want to make a lot of money doing this, then you got to take the risk. And if you don't know how to trade, you can't take the risk. So what's the first thing to do? You learn how to do it. You learn how to trade. And then as time goes on and you're making money, $50, $100, $200, $300, $400, $1,000, $2,000, $2, it helped your conviction. Journey Woman had two huge, huge days this week. Despite the day the Yahoo thing didn't work out right and we were out money in it and we didn't get out, Journey Woman had a good week because she took massive size and had two big days, Monday and today. And that has done worlds for her conviction because she saw that she could, she, the money's real. It's there. Boom. It's in your account. Done. And this held 550. Oh, my Lanta. <sighs> I'm going to make up a word. Well, I, I do. I said, you know, these are predictions. But I really have to make up a word for when I see something in the future. I need, I need my own word to call it something. Now, I did say NCOF, but I really need a word. I need to come up with a, a term, a term that I will say when I announce these besides NCOF, like when I call something to gap. I need to come up with a word for that. Like I've come up with all the other words where I'm predicting the gap. Churney Woman said, thank you double and triple times. You're welcome. Stop and True was 55. Spread. True is at 617. Yeah, this is, there you go. Just hold it. Yeah, boo. Look, I mean, I didn't want to hold this to a rally, but as it turns out, the market is red, so this just pulled right on down. This just this never really rallied. Actually, we could have lowered the stop in 680 in this and stayed in it. I could have done that. I just didn't feel like dealing with it. I didn't feel like dealing with it. I thought it would push back. I didn't know the market was going to fall all morning, but it did. I'm happy with my week. I'm done here. I didn't pull. I did not grab. I didn't grab something this week with gusto. I mean, we did this. We traded. We made money, but it wasn't like I was like, oh, you know. I'm looking for one of those next week. I don't, I don't know what it'll be. But, I mean, something I could take a million shares and just go like that. It, we didn't have it really this week. But we made money. Yes, my approach can be used for trading options. That's what people are doing. That's what iSilver did. Somebody else, I think, did something with this too as an option. But the reality is, though, that I don't. You can. I don't. You will limit your risk if you do that. That was Tom's point, like even on his email to me. I'm not doing that. I always do this to make the big money. Always. So if I'm going to do it, I'm doing what I know how to do, which is what? Buy or short the stock. Buy or short the stock. The actual stock, the equity, you must have the buying power to do it. In the case of Amazon and Netflix and the calls that I made, they were expensive. Even the market is not cheap. But if you're going long something, you will have something probably that's at a higher price point. Google too. Okay, now you can do shorts. I predict sometimes shorts and gaps. I don't remember the last one I predicted that was a short gap, but either way, it doesn't matter. Probably the last one we did that I that I that I grabbed. I mean, the last one that I actually sunk my teeth into was probably the last one I predicted. Like I would have sunk my teeth into Juniper, it just didn't do it. But you see, Juniper didn't work right today. I mean, really, I saw that that really should have done what I wanted it to do. Here, this again. I don't even know how to explain this. Like, okay, remember I said this is really good if the gap's down. It didn't do it. So we didn't do anything with it. And then I looked at the gap up. So this is a watch. For the bullish watch, it gapped up. But it's, it's not perfect. I don't really like it. I don't think it's going to work, I said. But you can watch it. And look what it's doing. It's, it's selling off. Like, my ability to be able to see, like, what the money's going to do in it. Now, I know it gapped up, okay? And I didn't predict the gap in this. I didn't say it was going to do either one. I didn't see NCOF on this and anything yesterday when we talked. I said, well, this could go either way. But I'm saying, do you see here how it's selling off? Like, I saw that it would sell off. Like, I don't even, like, 
I'm just telling you, like I can read how money's gonna act in something, like before it does it. Now in the case of this, it gapped up, but it's selling off. Which which I kind of like was like, yeah, this is this really should sell off. It's gonna I, in my mind I'm like, this is gonna sell off. But it didn't sell off in the gap, it's selling off in the day. But like it's really doing what I thought it would do on the day, selling off. But it gapped up and I'm I, you know, I'm not shorting gap ups. But it's just, you know, my ability to be able to see like what the money's really gonna do. We learned a lot this week. Boy, do we learn a lot this week. This week was a very unusual week. We learned more this week than we made money, although we made money, but we learned a lot this week. At least I did, and we're gonna take that into the future. Some weeks we make a lot of money, we learn nothing. It's just as important to learn and make money. We did make money and we did learn this week, but we really learned more and had more value this week in the learning than we did in the money that we made, to be honest with you. Even though things worked, uh, these were not like crazy, crazy big trades. They were money, but it wasn't like flying off a planet. For capital requirements, options for some leverage, so the capital is less, yes, and this way one can build the cap required capital so one can use the actual stock later on, yes, but you can also open up a prop account, and if you open up a prop account, you only need $2,500 and you can day trade. And you have the money right away so you don't have to worry about the timing. And you just take the trade and get out. You know you have the money and you book it every day and then you don't have to worry about the timing with the option problem. So, you know, really the capital requirement is a non-issue. You should be able to just open up a prop account, day trade it, be an active day trader, make the money every day and stop. And not have to worry about the timing. Do options if you know how to do them. Do options if you like them. Do options if you prefer them. Do options and take the equity trade, which is what Surf Dog does and New Jersey Trader and Tom. But I'm telling you that don't do that as an exchange for this. Just trade a prop account and day trade. If you like options, do them. If you, if you don't, then don't. Um, you know, if you know how to do them, fine. But don't do them in exchange instead of day trading because you can day trade in a prop account with $2,500. And to be honest with you, if you don't have $2,500, I don't know why you're doing options. No, no one should, if you don't have $2,500, you shouldn't even be doing Options. You shouldn't be trading. I say this all the time. What do you need to take the class? $3,500. How much do you need a prop account? $2,500. You're better off learning how to trade and knowing what to do because if you only have $2,500, then you really can't lose that much. So you better learn how to do it and take the class first and then worry about getting the money to trade in an account because if you only got $2,500 or actually anything less than five grand, you really have to be right and you really have to take my trades and you really have to follow me because you really don't have that much of a cushion, okay? So you don't want to lose that $5,000 if that's all you got or less than that is what I'm saying. You got to do what I say. You got to take my trades. You got to learn how to do it. And the only way you're going to be in here is if you take the class. So, you know, you're better off just focusing on the learning because you can't really take losses on a regular basis if your funds are limited. So you better be right. And how, do, how are you going to get it right? You're going to have to be here with me and you're going to have to learn how to do it. It's like ask backwards the way people think. People that don't have any money and they're up against it in their accounts don't want to pay for a class and learn anything. They're the ones that have to learn because they can't afford to lose. People that have money can actually afford to lose and still carry on and still trade and have their account and pay for the class. It's like ask backwards the way people think. This world is so screwed up. A prop account, Nicholas, email me here. Email me if you want more info. It's, you can Google this. There you go, proprietary day train account, Google it. GBH, I just called it right in here. Entry number three, wherever you got it. Everybody probably got it a different number. Some people probably got it above 30 with me. Some people probably got it in the 20s. I just shorted it into the wind. Okay. And by the way, this is done. 615 it looks like. And, and I, I don't think anyone else is even in this. Is that, No one else is really actually even in this, are they? Is, is anyone still in this? Because you shouldn't be. Yeah, look at that. 
So we'll go over this one more time. 550, really? I said Amazon would hold today, and it did within 64 cents. <laughs> Quimby, then you got to email me. Email me at melissa at the stockswish.com, and I will send you a referral. I don't have that information here right now. I'm talking. I'm, you know, email me. I'll send you the actual information in an email format. Email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. Amazon's a long right now at 10.30 here, but I'm not calling this long, but look at it. This can even retrace half the drop down it had today. Crazy. Uh, let me just look. 5.80 was the high. It's already doing it. Look. I think there's a misnomer. Like, people think if they work hard that they'll achieve their goals. Work isn't enough. It's not enough. You need to do more than work. Hey, I'm a hard worker and I worked really, really hard, really, really hard at my mortgage job and I couldn't get loans approved because everything was going to pot. Then I was working really, really hard to make money as a trader and I couldn't figure it out and I was losing. You have to do more than hard work. You actually have to persevere and when a challenge comes up, you have to be able to push through it. And actually, that's where the work is required. People think the work is required in studying and doing all this stuff. Yes, you do have to do that. You can't make it without doing that. But you also have to be willing to persevere. So really, the work is the mental work, the mental stamina that many people lack. That's where the real work is required. Just like it's, it's for anything you do, whether you're, whether you're doing a project, you have a business venture, or you're trading, or like right now, I'm on this diet. I got 10 more days on this diet. I kind of just think I could quit right now because I've lost enough weight. But, you know, the mental stamina that's taking me to stay on this diet through the last two weeks of stress that I've had with things that have been going on has been, I, I can't even believe I'm still on it, but I persevered through it because I wanted to lose the weight. But it's, I, and I, I've never looked better, but it's mental stamina. It took mental stamina for me to stay on this stupid freaking diet in the last two weeks because I wanted to drink wine so bad I can't even tell you more than eat food and I can't drink any alcohol on it. But it's the mental stamina and the mental strength that's required. It's the perseverance. And you have to do that. You can do all the work you want. You can study charts every night, which you need to do. But if you do that, you still won't make it if you can't persevere and don't have the mental stamina. And you know, part of the mental stamina is taking a hit when you find something, that you take something, you make a mistake, and then coming back and turning it right around. Turning it right around as if it never even happened and having amnesia. You gotta let it go. So many people hang on and hang on and hang on and hang on to the past and things and mistakes that they happen and losses or classes they took and didn't get anything out of. You will never move forward if you're hanging on to the past. You may as well just dig your grave right now. You're alive right now today, and you got to live in the moment, and you got to move forward. And if you're not willing to do that, you're never going to get anywhere. This is done. <laughs> I can't go on a vacation. I probably will not be going on a vacation the rest of the 2015, unless it's a three-day weekend or a four-day weekend. I have so much to do. It's not even funny. All right, have a good weekend, everyone. 10.39, I'm done. Congratulations for everyone that did true today. Congratulations for those of you that did something in Amazon. Great, great, great call I made in Amazon. 100% conviction. Remember, there is n there is nothing else. You either have no conviction or 100% conviction. There is no in-between. Okay? Um, yeah, email me later today, and I'll answer all those questions, Nicholas. You're welcome. Great. See everyone next week. Thank you. Yeah, so Davia, email me too. Melissa at the stockswish.com. August 1st and 2nd is a class. You're welcome. Gal had some amazing lady. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll tell you what's amazing, Amazon. Sit and look at that all weekend. <laughs> I tell you right now, I would if I had made seventy eight thousand dollars in this yesterday, I, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be here today. I mean, I, I'm sorry, I would be gone. I, I wouldn't be here. I would have said, Tom, do the room. <laughs> I would have come in for five minutes and I would have flown to Vegas for the weekend. Uh, that would be the end of it. <laughs> but you know, I didn't do it. All right, have a good weekend, everyone. Okay, bye bye. <laughs>